If you're a heating and air conditioning technician or a salesperson, what is a word track that you could use to covertly persuade your buyer? This is an important question. I'm Scott Silverman Bell, coming to you live from Sacramento on a perfect day to talk about sales and a perfect day to talk about you for HVAC technician sales secrets. And the word track that I want to give you is the punchline to the joke, right? So let's think about this a couple of ways. If you are saying that something's a joke, if you're slightly giving some edge this direction, then it's not so good, right? So let's say that you are in a sales process and you know that there's competition, and let me use that term roughly competition, that typically comes behind you and dumps the price. So let's say that you're at 20 grand, they were at 22, they come back in at 15. You can give warning to your buyer and say, hey, look, I can tell you the future about what's gonna happen here. And I already know, do you wanna know the punchline to the joke? And the buyer's gonna come back and say, yeah, absolutely. Tell me, tell me the punchline to the joke. Competition's gonna come back in and here's what they're gonna do. And you give them the game plan, right? So you're kind of making fun of them. You're kind of calling it a joke. You kind of get to laugh about it, and then you move on. So you could use this in multiple ways. And this is why you should join HVACTechSecrets.com. I'll give you the goods, not in the Facebook group, not on the YouTube channel. So let's say that you have a system and it's got a lot of damage. And you're like, hey, it's got problems with part A, part B, part C, part D. You want to know the punchline to the joke. Buyer's going to come back and say, yeah, tell me the punchline. And you're going to say, hey, the system's going to fail when you need it the most and just stop talking. It's gonna put a little bit of pressure on the buyer. They're gonna look back and forth. What would you do? That's the most common question. Come on, as a salesperson, as a technician, you gotta know when there's that much damage, they're gonna come back and say, what would you do? So you can have this conversation about the buyer, or the, the salesperson you're up against. You can have this conversation about parts. You can build doubt about the people that you're selling up against. But here's the thing to know. You're going to have to practice this a few times. You're going to have to get good at saying, do you want to know the punchline to the joke? And wait. you got to wait for the person to say yes. Because sometimes if they're not paying attention, it just goes right past them. You've caused a problem for yourself. And they didn't get to hear the conversation that you wanted to have with them, and it doesn't have impact. Practice it a few times. There you go. You got this. You got one thing to do from here. Just one thing. Find the subscribe button. Click on it every time I send out a video. You'll get an update. You click on the bell. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.